has caught something, and I'm not going to tell you what it is. I want you to try and see, to try and guess what it's eating. Hashtag Spy Alive. Tell us what that warthog is eating. Warthog. That's not a warthog, is it? It's a hornbill. Yeah. But look at the thing that it's eating. Try and identify it. It's quite astounding. Isn't that amazing? I'm not even going to give you a clue. Now what it's doing is using that sharp beak to break up the hard bits. And I'm not even going to tell you what those hard bits are because that might give it away. But obviously there are bits of that piece of prey that are too hard to digest. And so because the hornbill is not blessed with teeth, Hornbills' teeth are a bit like hen's teeth, they're difficult to find. And because they do not have teeth and they cannot chew, when that thing eventually does go down the hatch... Oh, he's dropped it. No, he hasn't. He's <laughs> dropped a piece of it. Let's see if he picks it up. I'm sure he will. He found it again. Yes, he has. He's still got it. I'm not sure that's the whole of it, though. I think he's probably snapped a piece of it off. So when he eventually does swallow it, it's got to be soft. It's got to be soft enough for the digestive juices in his stomach and I suppose for the stones in the gizzard which are then able to sort of do a little bit of chewing and the gizzard is a muscular sort of pre-stomach if you like. It's got stones in it and it kind of grinds away at the food but it's got to grind away quite a lot there before the stomach juices will be able to get at it and so he does the initial sort of um, breaking up of the hard stuff with his beak. Any ideas what it is? No, I only realized after watching it for some time. A few answers, here we go. Snake, lizard, moth, water monitor. Good grief, water monitor is a stretch. A snake is what I thought it was to start with, but it's not a snake and it's not a lizard. And there we have the answer. Who gave us that answer? James, you said it was a stick insect. It is a stick, it is a stick insect. It's a giant stick insect. It's exactly what it is. And what he's doing, you go and fetch it quickly. What he's doing is breaking up the very hard chitinous exoskeleton. And once he's broken it up, he will then swallow it whole. But that process obviously takes quite a lot of time. See, from end to end. And it's a bit the same, I mean, I've seen lots of birds do catch things like that, and then they slap them on the branches. Especially fish, for example, though, fish, kingfishers will slap fish on the branches. They'll also slap um, centipedes and that sort of thing if they catch them on the branches to break them up. And that is to break up the internal skeleton, but in this case it's to break up the exoskeleton of the giant stick insect. I think that's fantastic and it just gives you an idea though of how little there is of actual food in that stick insect. It is largely the chitinous outer shell which is completely inedible. Still won't swallow it. Having a delicious breakfast. I don't think we'll have that for breakfast. I think I'm hoping that we'll get something else from Amanda, but who knows? Maybe she's been collecting stick insects. It is Wednesday, of course, so we're at the end of the shopping week. There we go. Is it going down? No, he's still breaking it up. It always astounds me how long it takes them before they're prepared to swallow it. He's, still, he's, he's not trying to swallow it yet at all, is he? There, is it going? No, he's still just breaking it up. This is fantastic. This really is a very special sighting. It's almost like he's desperate to try and swallow it, but I'm 
unfortunately for him, it's just too hard. I think it's well dead by this stage. Hmm. Anyway, I think let's carry on. See what else we can find on cheetah planes. We've left the clearings because there's nothing in them.